Just taking a couple nice big deep breaths here. I want to feel everything just soften. different practice. I'm just going to do a few spinal movements. So I'm just going to move my chest forward and back. I'm going to inhale forward and exhale back. This is from uh, a Kundalini practice. Kundalini is a very powerful form of yoga. You know, I always say to people, like especially people who come to retreats that aren't necessarily um, you know, they don't do yoga, they say, well, you know, what kind of yoga should I do? And I always say to people, it is, you know, just a market, like, go shop around. Find, find a teacher, find a practice, find a style that you enjoy, that's the one, that's the one for you. If you like it, you dig it. Bit. I want to feel my spines warming up and the back muscles as well. Okay, I'm going to take a nice big stretch, reach the arm over, keep everything nice and open so it's like you're always a star expanding, just like the universe we are. And up and over the other way. Always feel free to move around to, you know, try different angles, different, you know, ways of feeling into the stretch so you really do find your kind of optimal position in a given day. Releasing it. I'm going to bring my legs out in front of me. I'm going to keep them bent for now. Interlace the fingers behind. Oh, nice big inhale. And exhale. Stretching it forward. So I'm feeling this mainly in my arms right now. And just come into a nice spinal twist. I want to feel both my sitting bones are grounded. I, I try to take it really, I used to be in the habit, I used to be a pusher. So I, I try to get in the habit of just being as simple, gentle as possible inside my body. I kind of feel a bit of a lift through the heart center, softening through the ribcage. And the eyes as well. I think the eyes are pretty important um, in, well, all the poses, but spinal twist I find is especially kind of relevant because the eyes, my gaze will continue to take me deeper into the twist without having to work very hard. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Sort of live more joyfully without working really, you know, not having to work hard. It's not about that now. And then just release it there. I'll come into this stretch. Another come another nice side stretch. So reaching that arm all the way across. Easy shoulders. Just following with the breath. And then I'm just gonna melt myself into a slightly different angle here, lengthening through the spine. simple 
little stretches in the morning can be really great way to feel better in your body. Um, you know, we might do 20 minutes or half an hour today, but um, even just a couple minutes, you know, shake around, move around. So this is the fun one. If we haven't really got the, the opening here, we can just pop into a nice easy pose. I'm uh, just working with that for this. My hips aren't hugely open. I don't have really flat open hips like um, some people, but what are you gonna do? I um, quite badly damaged my knees over the years of forcing myself into hip openers, i.e. the lotus position. Um, again, totally ego driven, like I need to be in the position and I hurt my knees. So now I have to be really, really mindful and uh, really gentle not to do positions that aggravate my knees because then they hurt and I don't want to hurt myself anymore. So. And again here, just like moving around, you can feel all your feel, different things. by coming into different angles. And I think I need to vacuum today. Okay, so again, coming to the other side for your spinal twist. I wanna get, or uh, try to feel my both sitting bones grounded. There's that word, try again. And then <laughs> my spine, I get a good little crack sometimes. So again, just finding your way into the position, be where you are. And then just let your breath guide you deeper. It's that simple. And then just releasing it nice little side stretch there opening it out so I just I want to feel like it's almost like being in water like you're super open and relaxed and you just flow yourself across and then you sort of feel like oh yeah there's some stretch there but you're reaching and leaning into the stretch as you as you lean over across breathing deep keeping the lower body really as grounded and heavy as possible like the trick of uh, visualizing your breath going right into the center of your body so it goes right to the center expands out in every direction and then you can soften every part of you into it release that one and then bring the other leg up and again just see how you manage it. Don't, don't push. Don't push. It will not help. <sighs> Sometimes I put my hands in this position to encourage the inner connection. Um, also, sometimes just to be like, you know, all is well, and I can breathe through the intensity of any given stretch, mindfully, peacefully, easily. Just a quick wide leg stretch as well, and then we'll do a few sun salutes so just to get the energy flowing a little bit more. So 
is a nice wide leg stretch. Okay, we're kind of out of the shot a bit, so coming back there, nice and knee forward. And again, if, if you're um, a little bit tight there, sometimes just sitting up on a cushion so your, your bum is a little bit raised can give you that forward motion feeling. Because there's sort of like a, a, like a tipping point. Once you, once you can hinge further forward, um, the weight of your body can really uh, deepen you into the stretch a little bit more comfortably where if you're up here, it's like, eh, you know? But as long as it's really, again, it really doesn't matter what it looks like. If you're feeling a stretch, you're good to go. stretch. Okay, let's come into downward dog. Just gonna reach the right leg up, nice big breath, and then steps it through. Warrior one, putting the back heel down, grounding it through, making sure we pull that tummy in, and then reach the arms up. And exhale, soften into warrior two. I'm gonna inhale, reach that arm back, and then exhale, coming into a nice extended side angle, reaching it all the way across. Nice diagonal line here. And then release it. Step back, come into your plank. Nice big breath, exhale. Lower this down. Inhale, in, up. And exhale. So again, if that up dog is too uh, intense for your back, just do it really nice and easy and keep it low with a full breath. Again, opposing forces. Feeling yourself expanding inside a pose is really great. Feeling your body's connection to the ground as well. That helps actually, that helps to, there's like a rebounding energy coming up through the earth into our body. So we kind of want to access that. So I'm going to inhale the left leg up. Nice big breath. Even that nice stretch there. And exhale. Put the back heel down, take your time just coming into it here. And exhale. And then inhale, reach the arm back. And exhale. Extend it. All the way across. And then step it back. Nice, nice big breath. And exhale. So again, you can just inhale, lift it up here. And then pop to the knees. And all the way back it goes. Just giving that head a bit of a wiggle. So I'm just going to walk my hands all the way back to my feet, please. hands behind, interlock the fingers, and hang down here. And just focus on the breath. That's always enough. And that's enough, like, you don't have to go to a yoga class to focus on your breath. You can focus on your breath when you're at work. Uh, if you're stressing out in traffic, you know, you can or if you're having a bit of a, a row with someone you love, you can be like, okay, breathe. Try to absorb and feel the emotion rather than continually projecting it onto somebody else. Yeah, let's take a nice big breath, inhale, reach up. And exhale, 
come all the way back down. I like to do the full chin tucking in. And then inhale, looking up, nice half lift. Exhale, walking the palms all the way out to plank. And then let's just do a couple swivel side to side. So once I'm in plank, I'm just gonna inhale, up and back, and exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And if you gotta do what you gotta do, exhale. And inhale. And exhale. One more. Another inhale and exhale. And exhale. I'm just gonna sit it all the way back in child's pose. Take a little breather here. maybe with a few variations. So inhale that right leg up, nice big breath. I'm gonna play around with it here, holding it up, just kind of feeling it back. And reaching it out. And then maybe bringing it straight up and back. Maybe try and just bringing the knee to the forehead first. Popping it down. Keep the back heels still off the ground. I'll inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale. Bring your hands under the head. Inhale, lift up. And exhale. Just gently dropping that head back. Just here. Really lifting through the navel. And inhale, the arms up. And exhale. Reach it out. Inhale, the front arm up. And exhale, come down. And then here I'm going to inhale, reach it up. And just go for a nice open twist there. Give it up, give it up, give it all up, it all belongs to the Gently release, straighten that front knee. Let's kind of relax the head down. Give it up, give just it lifting up, into that it right up, side a little bit, kind of dropping into the left, breathing deeply. Right back into my downward dog. Inhale, lengthen up. And again, just holding it here to find a stretch. So really lengthening it up. Maybe going back a bit for fun. Just see that how that feels. feeling expanded so you're always on this feeling of like reaching everything away and then just kind of squaring it off a bit here I'm going to try bringing my knee to my forehead first and then put it down so I'm coming up inhale the arms up exhale inhale I want to feel my heart lift up and exhale, drop it back. So really feeling my tummy muscles pulling in here. And then inhale, the arms up. And exhale, and twist it out. And inhale, that arm up. And exhale, bringing it down. So I can inhale this arm up now. And a nice little open twist there. Breathing into it, softening into it. And just gently release, coming into that, really straightening that front leg. Again, maybe just step back, back when you're a tad. So I'm really kind of lifting into my left side, dropping into my right. 
feels good for the back, this one. Big breath. And I'm just gonna walk my hands all the way back. So and relax. Slowly pinning up. Inhale the arms all the way up. And exhale. Coming down. And then I'll just bring my hands into a nice prayer pose. And maybe turn towards you. And just try a nice tree. I've got some trees outside. I'll Focus on the essence of the tree, the roots growing into the ground, the leaves reaching all the way up, breathing nice and deeply throughout. Maybe from the tree pose, we can try extending the leg out in front of us. Just seeing how that feels there, dropping in, pulling it towards you. And then kind of taking it out, nice opening breath there. Expanding into it, at the same time, just softening into it as well. And then I'll try bringing that foot in front, do a little hip opener here as well. It's coming all the way down. Oh, toe balance, hello. Hello, toe balance. Woo! And then we can try coming all the way up. Woohoo! And let's try the other side. So bringing the other foot in. Okay, so a nice like even every pose really like all the same principles apply. I've got this kind of energy at the center of my body that's expanding out in every direction and flowing around. All of the words we couldn't hear with the breath, we want to do it. Do you want to feel my tummy is kind of engaged and helping to lift me up here? It doesn't matter if I sway or rock a little bit, because the trees sway in the wind, that's a fact. And then just bringing that leg out, seeing how that one feels there. And we can go all the way out to the side now. So this arm can help reach it out. Kind of, again, having that feeling of expansion. And then bringing that foot whoop, all the way in. And then just sinking into it. So I am really actively kind of externally rotating this side as I'm reaching it forward. Oh, so I get that good hip stretch. Okay. And then we're there in our toe balance just for fun. See, the arms can come up and we can and we can balance ourselves there. This is quite a nice one <laughs> to do in front of the mirror. And you just do some days just like, yeah, 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 I got it. And other days, not so much. Okay, press down into both of the feet, lift the body all the way up. And then exhale. Let's just do one more full round of sun salutations and then we'll take it easy. So, out to the top of the mat, a nice big inhale, reach with the arms up, exhale, fall forward. Inhale the right leg back, nice big breath. Hold the breath in your plank, and exhale, lower it down. Inhale, lift the head and the heart up, and exhale. Slight variation here, inhale up, and exhale. Inhale, head up, Exhale, feet together, forward bend. Inhale, the arms up. Maybe go back a bit. And exhale. Inhale, the left leg goes back. Look up. Hold the breath in plank. And then exhale. Inhale up. And exhale. So we're going to inhale the left leg up. And then exhale, steps it through. Inhale, look up. And exhale, forward back. Inhale, arms up. And exhale. We're going to come into a squat before sitting down, so legs out wide. Big breaths into the center of your body here. It's time to make a change. 
and then just slowly release. We're gonna flow back into a nice little cloud pose here. So I'm gonna, I'm like moving my hips around just to feel more. And I'm gonna like just roll out a bit. So I get, as I practice, what happens is like, I'll kind of, I can feel my body's impulse to, to go into another posture. And I'm just learning more and more just to not stop that from, again, conditioning or previous training, but to allow that position to kind of flow through. So I want to do a back bend now. So I'm going to just lift up into a nice wheel here. So this is one variation. You can also do bridge pose. Everything is of equal value in yoga. There's no such thing as, you know, levels or advanced slash beginner poses, it's just, it's all just feeling and breathing and moving, you know, so, so I can press into the hands and lift up. Put some tunes on, eye pillows, lavender scented, locally made, and relax, which I'm going to do right now. So uh, oh wicked, like a good half hour sesh, wake up, move around, I hope you've enjoyed and Come see me again. Namaste, lots of love. I'll see you soon.